Hey, it's Janelle Waz, and welcome to another Star Trek video. Beverly's back, Worf gets a little brother, and Picard awkwardly claps at a poker game. It's not really him. TNG Season 3 already. We're well underway to ranking all of the episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation. Now, Season 3, in my opinion, is where the show started to get good. Don't get me wrong, I like Season 2, and even have some Season 2 episodes in the A tier. But Season 3 is where the show really hits its stride, and we see more A tier episodes, and start to see those S tier episodes. We got new pop-up collar uniforms, and a new lease on Trek with TNG Season 3. Make it so. Let's make sure that history never forgets the name Enterprise. But before I go further, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about Star Trek, video games, and whatever else I feel like talking about. And if you'd like to help support the channel, consider becoming a member. Be great to have you aboard. Evolution, the episode where Wesley's nanite science project almost destroys the Enterprise. They're really harmless. Uh, the one thing I really don't like is how they're always, like, pumping up Wesley, like, Yeah, Wesley's so great, he's a child prodigy. Um, I think the, uh, the guest star, Paul Stubbs, I think is the character name, he's, like, going on and on and how great he is. I think he uses, like, a German word to describe him, or something. A wunderkind. It means wonder child. Now the burden is yours. But, uh, Evolution, I don't remember it being a bad episode, um... Other than it's a Wesley episode, uh, which I'm not a big fan of Wesley. So I feel like it's probably like, it, it's not bad. I don't know if I'd call it C tier. It's probably low B tier. I always get an A. The Ensigns of Command. I do like the episode. Uh, Data goes down to the planet of Jedi cosplayers. There's the one guy whose voice is badly dubbed. It's not water. It's blood and it's sweat. I remember it being being an alright episode. Um, I'm gonna call that I'm gonna call it a B tier episode, probably better than Evolution. Maybe is it better than Dauphin? Now, Celia sells Dauphin. That's why I like that episode. Eh. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, Ensigns of Command above Dauphin. The Survivors! The one with Alberta Meacham from Mama's Family. It's like having dinner with Mom Parker and her gang. <laughs> um, not the greatest episode. It's not terrible, but it's probably a C-tier episode for me. Like, I'm okay skipping- Oh, that's right! And Troy gets terrorized by a music box. That, that was a thing that happened in that episode. And Love, fear. Maybe they're being held hostage in some fashion. Stop! Please! I'll do anything! Make it stop! Um, yeah, it's probably a C tier episode for me. So, it probably. I don't mind skipping it. I'm probably gonna put it above 11001001. I think it, it's gonna go there. Okay, who watches The Watchers? I know people like this episode. That's the episode where uh, this planet thinks Picard's a god, and Troy and Riker go in cosplay basically to tell them, no, Picard's not a god. Um, it's a pretty meh episode for me. I'm gonna probably call it a C tier episode. Cause it's not a bad episode, but I'm not crazy about it. I'm probably gonna put it under. A few moments later. Maybe above Heart of Glory. I know somebody's gonna get upset at that, but I'm not crazy about the episode. The Bonding is S tier. The Bonding was number 10 in my top 10 Star Trek The Next Generation episodes list. Great episode. Worf gets a little brother. I like how the episode examines grief and like the different forms of grief. I like the scenes how there's Riker and Data talking about how they're mourning for a co-worker, maybe a co-worker they didn't know all that well. Uh, the death kind of hits close to home for Wesley because he lost his father in the line of duty. And and as much as I'm not a Wesley fan, he does have a really good scene with Beverly.
Jeremy also has that pose where he looks like a Bond villain stroking a cat. Like, ah, oh, we meet again, Mr. Bond. Allow me to introduce myself. S tier for me, great episode. I should do a video on that episode at some point. Because it is a good episode, I'd, I'd love to talk about it more. On the Starship Enterprise, no one is alone. Okay, next up is Booby Trap. Cut the giggling, guys, we're talking about the episode. <laughs> so, they're all about to die in this, basically, booby trap, and, uh, Jordy decides to get a hollow girlfriend. And they're all about to die. I actually did a video about that episode, and I had fun making that video, largely because I was able to land some pretty good jokes about Jordy and his hollow girlfriend. So... It's probably not the greatest episode, but I enjoy it, so I'm gonna call it B tier. I enjoy it more than... I probably enjoy it more than Haven. Okay, the enemy. The one where Vampire Beverly is after war for his blood. You did understand that was the purpose of all the testing. It's not too late to change your mind. Oh yeah, and Jordy's stuck on a planet with a Romulan, and that planet is Galorndon Core, the coolest planet name in all of Star Trek. Crashed Romulan vessel on the surface of Galorndon Core. Let's see, I'm gonna put it higher than... Actually, it's probably higher than Contagion. It's a pretty good B-tier episode for me. Oh, the price. The one where Troy dates Lloyd Braun. Why can't you be more like Lloyd Braun? Oh, that Lloyd Braun. He is something, isn't he? Serenity now. Insanity later. Oh, and he screws up her hair. Oh my gosh, don't get me started on how he messed up her hair. So, I did a video about this, but honestly, it's not a very good episode. I'm gonna put it as a high C. I'm gonna put it as C tier. It's probably better than Up the Long Ladder, but Troy makes some very questionable decisions in the episode, and you have to wonder why she's even a counselor if she's making that terrible of decisions in her personal life. I remember the vengeance factor being pretty decent. So that's the episode where there's the two groups of aliens fighting, and Riker dates an old, old woman. <laughs> Years ago, she hasn't aged a day. I'm gonna call it high C tier. It's it's okay. No, it's eh, yeah, it's high C tier. Okay, the defector is is definitely A tier. I'm putting it above measure of a man. James Sloyan is a great Star Trek guest star. Always a pleasure to see him on screen. Uh, whether in Next Gen, DS9, even Voyager, I think he was in at least one episode. Uh, the episode also has Tomalak in it, and Tomalak is always fun to, to see. <gasps> Tomalak was also in The Enemy, and I completely forgot about that. The Defector is especially good, so I'm gonna call that an A-tier episode. The Hunted is another one of those episodes that I've seen it, but it didn't leave that big of an impression on me. I know that's with uh, Roga Danar, he's a super soldier, he's on the run from his government. And yeah, it's, it's certainly an episode. I'm gonna call that, I'm gonna call it C tier. I probably enjoy it less than the price. The price at least I could roast a little bit. The Hunted is just there. The High Ground, the planet of the Mr. Sheffield cosplayers. They all got that gray streak going. And of course, Beverly is kidnapped by one of them, and he especially looks like Mr. Sheffield, and he falls in love with her, she kind of has feelings for him, and Picard's like, Oh, he's drawing pictures of you? We can definitely use that. It's another one that, it, it's certainly an episode, I'm gonna call it C tier. Again, the price is basically as high as it is because I roast it. I'm gonna put it below the price. Yeah, the high ground and the hunted are kind of... I don't know, I kind of associate those episodes together for some reason. Okay, Deja Q is definitely A tier. A tier, I'm gonna call it... I'm gonna put it above measure of a man. I do enjoy Deja Q. So Q is turned into a human, he fails at being a human, he orders ten chocolate sundaes. I'll have ten chocolate sundaes. 
which is what we all want to do, let's admit it. Um, but John Delancey's always fun to watch in Star Trek, and this is probably my favorite episode of his. Well, unless you count all good things- all good things is, is pretty good too, I, I like- I like the finale. But yeah, Deja Q, definitely a tier episode. I'm- I'm putting it right there above Measure of a Man. A matter of perspective, Riker's accused of murder, and we actually see a practical application for the holodeck, which we probably should have seen more of in the show, because for the most part, people go in the holodeck just for their free time. But there was actually a practical use for it, just that it almost never happened. Not crazy about the episode, mainly because the ending's kind of ambiguous. Um, we don't know if Riker behaved improperly or not to Mrs. Apgar, who was the wife of the man that he supposedly murdered. It's kind of determined that he didn't he didn't kill the guy, but it's kind of kind of a gray area with um with Mrs. Apgar. I do kind of like how in Riker's testimony with her, she's like dressed more sexy, but then in her testimony, she's more covered up. Um, I kind of like that little nuance of it. But yeah, the, the episode itself is not high up on my list. Um, probably C tier for me. Maybe lower than Vengeance Factor. Yesterday's Enterprise is a really good episode. So, alternate timeline, the Federation's at war with the Klingons, Tasha Yar is alive in this timeline, uh, Picard has to make a tough decision either to send the Enterprise C back where it came from so they can fight with the Klingons, or continue in this awful, awful timeline where they're still at war. And I can't ask them to go back. You've got to. Um, it's a good episode. A lot of people love it. I do like it. It's probably not the highest on my list, but it is a good episode. It's either high B tier or low A tier for me. It's, it's a good episode. You know, how much do I enjoy watching it? I'm gonna call it low A tier. It, it is a pretty good episode. The Offspring, Data has a daughter and it's heartbreaking. I love you, father. I wish I could feel it with you. Thoroughly heartbreaking. I, I've been close to tears watching that episode. Um, definitely A tier. But it's definitely a tearjerker. I'm putting it above measure of a man, even though those two episodes are linked pretty closely together, you know, about the rights of androids, but I think I prefer the offspring a little bit more than measure of a man. Sins of the Father, another A-tier episode. I'm gonna put it even above the defector. It's pretty good. It's some Klingon political intrigue, you got a good Worf character development episode. We get Kern. Kern is pretty great. Do you wish to speak, acting Ensign Wesley Crusher? A tier for me, great episode, definitely a must watch for Star Trek The Next Generation. Okay, Allegiance is another one of those episodes I like to poke fun at a little bit. It's probably not the greatest episode, it's probably like a B or C tier episode, but it does have some really good moments. And by really good moments, I mean hilarious moments. You got Picard clapping awkwardly at a poker game. You got him singing in 10 forward, buying everybody drinks, even though the drinks are free. In fact, ales for everyone. Yeah, it's not as generous as, uh, as we all like to think it is. So Allegiance, probably high C tier. Probably high C tier, I would say. Uh, Could have been a better episode, but still kind of a fun watch. Captain's Holiday, not a fan, probably putting it D tier. Not a fan of Vosh, not a fan of Ryza. It's D tier for me, just not a fan whatsoever. Tin Man is a solid episode. I'm gonna put it probably B tier. I think I enjoy... I think I probably enjoy the neutral zone a little bit more. So Troy has a Betazoid friend, except he's like too telepathic and he can't sort out everybody's thoughts. Uh, so he doesn't really know how to like cope in regular society. Uh, but he finds a living ship and, you know, the, the living ship is alone, he's alone, and now they can be alone together. It, it's kind of a sweet ending, though a little bit sad. Um, but a yeah, solid episode. It's, it's definitely a good B-tier episode. I like Hollow Pursuits a lot. I'm gonna put it A tier, uh, probably higher than... 
probably higher than the offspring. Uh, the downside of the episode is that the Enterprise crew kinda acts like they're in high school and they're like borderline bullying Barclay. Well, borderline, they're, they gave him a mean nickname, Broccoli. Broccoli makes me nervous, Captain. He makes everybody nervous. Broccoli. Uh, but Dwight Schultz is great in the episode. You can really see how he has range. If, if you watch him in the A-Team, you know, it's Howlin' Mad Murdoch, you can see how, like, how big a range he, he has. <laughs> Say, do any of you creeps know the way to San Jose? <laughs> Paul Meroy, is that the cat of choo-choo? By the way, would you mind awfully if I borrow your shiny little chopper? Absolutely not. I didn't know you cared, sweetheart. Um, in Star Trek, he's a bit more reserved, but then he gets in the holodeck and you really see the H.M. Murdoch come out of him. It shouldn't do that. Well, I mean, I mean, of course it shouldn't do that. Uh, I shall speak with my thoughts. Huh? Always fun watching Dwight Schultz in Star Trek. Kind of wish he had more appearances, but I do enjoy Hollow Pursuits. The most toys. Not a super big fan of the episode. Uh, Data gets kidnapped and put in a collection, basically. I think the reason why I'm not super into this episode is because of Fajo. Not that Saul Rubinek does a bad job with him, but he's just such a villainous character, completely irredeemable, that it's really difficult to watch the episode. For me, it's C-tier, probably lower than... Probably lower than Schizoid, man. Sarek is S-tier. That's another one of my top 10 Star Trek The Next Generation episodes. You know, I made that video a few years ago, and maybe my top 10 episodes have changed since then. I, I haven't really thought about it all that much, but Sarek is definitely in the top 10, even if even if there have been changes in my top 10. Like, Patrick Stewart, Mark Lennard, great actors, always great seeing them on screen together. Definitely S-tier. Peace and long life. Live long and prosper. Menage a Troy. So that's Waxana, Troy, and Riker get kidnapped by the Ferengi. Uh, it's actually, my mom really enjoys this episode. Uh, Cause Waxana. I just love to hear more of your poetry. Uh -huh. So probably not the greatest episode though. I do enjoy it. Uh, Picard saves them all by quoting Shakespeare left and right and threatening to blow up the Ferengi. Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Fun episode, probably not the greatest. I don't see a lot of people talking about this episode a whole bunch, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call it B tier for me. Um, I enjoy it more than let's see. It's definitely better than Haven. A few moments later. You know, I enjoy it more than Manhunt. Doesn't he realize that I am the daughter of the fifth house of Beta Zeth? Holder of the sacred chalice of Reeks. Transfigurations is another one. I know I've seen it a couple of times. I can't tell you a whole bunch about it. There's a glowing man on the Enterprise. Beverly falls in love with him. Worf falls off a ledge and he immediately heals him. But it's... It's certainly an episode. Uh, for me, it's, it's probably better than Allegiance, but I'm putting it here. The Best of Both Worlds Parts 1 and 2, which have been combined into one... one item. That's my first complaint with this list. Not only am I do I have to move my, my browser around, but it, Best of Both Worlds should be divided into 1 and 2. If you have to wait a summer for part two, it's two separate episodes. Uh, nevertheless, it's probably an S-tier episode. I'm gonna put parts one and two in S-tier. They're both really good episodes. Uh, part one does a good job setting up the conflict with the Borg. The poor Ciscos are probably planning their next vacation during the events of this episode. Rest in peace, Jennifer Cisco. Damn it! We just can't leave her here! A lot of tension with the Borg, you know, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna attack? And then they they capture Picard and assimilate him. 
Uh, part one has that great cliffhanger ending with Riker saying, fire. Mr. Worf. Fire. Great way to end a third season, but I imagine it was held back in, what is that, 1990 this, this premiered in? Maybe? But I imagine that summer was probably hell for everybody until part two came out. Ah, <sighs> finally! We're getting some S-tier episodes, and we're only just getting started. I enjoy season three a lot, and while some say TNG hit its stride in season four, I argue that it was actually in season three. But next time around, we'll talk season four and the great episodes to come out of that season. As always, thanks for tuning in to another Star Trek video. If you like what you see, why not give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends! Until next time... Shall I compare thee to a summer's day?